Hello, this is session 7 of the GMM module and our main focus in this session would be marketing planning, um, the process and also a little bit about vision and mission uh, planning for an organization. So our key objectives today would be to understand the structure of marketing plans. In Under this, I would be um, giving you an idea of what marketing planning uh, means and what are the key components. And later, on a separate uh, note and addition, I will share a fully blown marketing plan in terms of the steps required, probably with examples, so it will help you to answer any questions that may come in your exam paper. Number two, the second objective is to be aware of analysis and planning tools that could be used in marketing planning. Here I would be touching on uh, three to four tools and I would request you to refer them and if you cannot um, uh, find a proper explanation or what is available um, online as well as in books is not uh, clear to you, you may either write to me or give me a call. I would be glad to explain it for you. And also, uh, as a glancing on a point, we would look at the risk levels when you, um, the risk levels and the control levels that you need to consider when you enter new markets. Uh, especially international markets. So, what is a marketing plan? Of course, when you say a plan, um, you can understand it's more like a framework, a step-by-step -step guide, a uh, set of interlinked activities uh, that you will develop. And now in this case, for your marketing campaign. So, in other words, you can say, it is a blueprint or a map that you create in order for you and your team, your organization to follow. Now, let me add this note. If you're planning for an existing set of products, services for the organization, you need to bring the background of your current efforts, the past efforts, the historical data, performances, what you have learned, how can you mitigate the mistakes or how can you improve what you have done. You need to bring those things into the plan. On the other hand, if the plan is for a brand new product or a service or um, you're relaunching the organization, something, it will pull together all the elements uh, that you can find and your predictions your extrapolations, your estimations, your um, whatever you uh, think might happen, the anticipations, all these things that you need to bring into your marketing plan. Well, do you remember we spoke about the marketing framework? the EPIC framework or analysis, planning, implementation, and control. Well, the marketing plan in effect follows these steps in order to create the, the full plan for your campaign, your product, for your organization, service, etc. You do the analysis to find out where you are or your background. If it's a brand new product, what is the uh, background or the on which stage or what is the stage set for your product or service launch or your organization's marketing campaign. You do the planning based on your analysis and based on your objectives. You plan to see where do you want to go and how can you get there. The implementation part in the marketing plan is the action plan the marketing elements, the marketing mix elements, the four or the seven as in whatever case may be, you draw up the plan for the implementation. 
then the monitoring and control part is there for you to understand did I get there did I get where I wanted to be how far do I have to go what happened how do I measure my success against my plans so for an example a budget of uh, 10 million rupees for the year you have set for this particular product now when you come to the end when you are at the middle or every quarter when you do the analysis to monitor are you progressing you can always cross check with this 10 million budget and see where you are so that is what you mean by monitoring and control before you go forward I would like to clear two points most organizations do have a vision and a mission statement so in order for you to set your objectives for the marketing plan you need to have some sort of a vision where you want to be in terms of the organization or in terms of the product also you can have a vision this is where I want to be and generally the vision is defined as the ability to foresee or the dream the future prospect future point where you want to be or what you want to achieve the mission lots of people do uh, confuse this mission statement a little bit lots of people think mission statement or the mission is the plan of how to get to the vision but I would uh, slightly give you a different definition and an idea about the mission I would say the mission statement is the reason that you put down as the organization's existence for an example uh, Walt Disney a park when you go to a fun themed park their main reason for the existence of course the financials aside it's all about making people happy Am I clear to you? So the mission statement should clearly define why are you existing? What is the reason for your existing? Of course, if you fulfill that reason, it will help you to get to the vision that you have. I've given here a few examples of vision statements and on the next slide, uh, examples of mission statements some vision statements are very uh, straightforward clear-cut whilst some have more longer or uh, complex explanations like coca-cola they have gone to different areas like profit people planet partners and given different visions that they intend to achieve in all of these areas example McDonald's to be the world's best quick service restaurant experience and this is a good vision statement where they go on to explain what best means because best is very subjective all of you all if I ask you questions individually your best might give different meanings here they have clearly defined what best means being the best means providing an outstanding quality service cleanliness and value so that we can make every customer or put a smile on every customer's face in every restaurant it's it's a far-fetched dream I would say it's not easy to do this on every customer's face but that is their vision that's their way they want to be that's their way they want to get to so their vision is to be the world's best quick service restaurant experience now if you look at a few mission statements uh, check Google to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible or available and be useful so that is the reason why they exist 3M to solve unsolved problems 
innovatively. It totally, totally gives an idea of why they exist and how they want to exist. They want to solve unsolved problems, but at the same time, not by traditional methods, but very innovatively. So the entire organization is driven by this mission statements. That's what you want your mission statement to do, to drive you and your employees, the entire organization to live this mission statement. Walt Disney says to make people happy. So everybody involved in their fun parks, theme parks, they want to live by this rule. They have to make, they should be making every customer who walks through the gate happy. So I hope you have got an idea about mission statements and how useful a mission statement could be to an organization if it's well planned.